Hey, what's up guys? Soji Knows Best here, and this is the Verizon iPhone. And ever since I got this phone, a lot of people have been asking me about the mobile hotspot feature, which allows your iPhone to share its 3G internet coverage with up to five different devices wirelessly by creating a little portable Wi-Fi bubble. Kind of turns into like a little mini router. And also you can connect it via USB ca cable and connect it to a laptop, or in my case, my 27-inch uh, iMac here, and be able to serve off the web just with this iPhone here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in here via the USB. And you see here, once I plug it in at the top, a little blue little strip will come up here showing me that I have one device connected to my iPhone um, sharing this internet. So I got Google Chrome pulled up here and I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this page on engadget.com, give you a little idea how, about how fast it works. And so you see here, loaded up everything. Everything is just about loaded up here. We can see the vast majority of the page loads up in just a matter of seconds and it's all done now. Um, go to Apple here and I'm gonna go to YouTube from this page. You can see how fast it loads up. Not too shabby at all. And also I'm gonna load up my Beat Soldier Win here, my gaming channel. If you haven't checked it out, link down below. If you want to check out some new hey, games so here. Guys, uh, I'm gonna load this channel up and you can kind of get an idea about uh, how fast it loads these YouTube videos up. And normally the buffering would have been a little bit like out here by now, um, but this in this case it is kind of slow, so it, it depends. But in my other test, the buffering was kind of like out here, so it buffers YouTube videos very fast. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna unplug the USB cable here and internet connection will stop. Um, so I'm not connected via anything. I'm gonna refresh these pages so you see that everything is kind of just, you know, nothing's connected to the internet. But anyway, here I'm gonna go to the settings here. I'm gonna show you how to do this wirelessly and how to create that little portable Wi-Fi bubble just like you do with the MiFi or something. And basically it's turned on. You can set up a little, your Wi-Fi password, set it to anything you want. In my case, it's Steelers loss. I'm a little sad face here. Yes, I was going for the Steelers in the Super Bowl. But anyway, it's, it's already set to go here. So I'm gonna go to my, uh, uh, wireless settings here on my Mac. I'm just going to be turning my airport on and it will slowly connect to my Verizon iPhone here. All right, and there it is connected to my Verizon iPhone. So I'm going to hit this refresh on this Engadget page. Oh, there it is. I'm um, hit the refresh now and it should work. And it's going to be refreshing and you can see it's a little bit slower than the uh, via tether, tethering via the USB cable, but it's not too, too slow at all. You can still be able to load everything up here, load up YouTube again. All right. Again, just, uh, just not too much slower than the tethering. All righty. And load a Beat Soldier Win again and see if the YouTube video just go ahead and starts playing. Yes, there it is. All right, so the, the internet is really, really fast. Again, sharing the Verizon internet coverage, and you see here has already started buffering a little bit already. So I'm very pleased with this. You can also share this via Bluetooth. I don't see why, but you can share your internet connection via Bluetooth. In my first case, I couldn't get it to work with my iMac. I don't know whether I was doing something wrong or something happened there. Leave a comment down below if you're able to get it to work with your computer via Bluetooth. But anyway, Wi-Fi and the USB tethering is going to be the way to go for a lot of people. When you have this thing, though, when you have the maximum of the five devices connected to your iPhone wirelessly, your internet connection will slow down just a little bit, uh, but it's not too slow, not too much slower than, than what it is now, and you'll be able to, everybody be able to surf in peace. Anyway, here's Soldier you those best just showing you the mobile hotspot feature, a little bit in depth uh, than I did in my review between the Verizon iPhone and AT&T iPhone. Link is at the end of this video if you want to check that out. But thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace. And let me know what else you want to see with the Verizon iPhone, this anything else you want me to see me do with it. All right, anyway, for real this time, peace.